One day, a father was sitting at the table with his wife and children and a good friend who was visiting him. And they were having their noonday meal. As they were sitting there, the clock struck 12 and the visitor saw the door open and a pale child dressed in a snow white clothes entered. He didn't look around or say anything, but went silently into the next room. Shortly thereafter, he returned and went away just as quickly as he, ent as he had entered. <coughs> On the second and third day, the child came again. Finally, the visitor asked the father who the beautiful child was that entered the, the room every day at noon. The father answered, answered that he knew nothing about him. He hadn't seen anything. So, the next day, as the clock struck noon, the child entered again and the visitor pointed the child out to the father, but he didn't see the boy, neither did the mother nor the children. The visitor stood up, went to the door, opened it a little and look, looked inside. There he saw the pale child sitting in the floor, digging and rumbling in the crack of the boards. However, as soon as the child noticed the visitor, he disappeared. Now the visitor told the family what he had seen and gave an exact description of the boy. The mother was then able to recognize the child and said, Alas, it's my own dear child who died four weeks ago. So it was a ghost. Ho, ho, ho. Then they ripped up the board as the floor and found two pennies that the boy had received from his mother at one time to give to a poor man, but the child had thought, I can buy myself a biscuit for that. Therefore, he had kept the pennies and had hidden them in the crack of the floor. This is why he hadn't been able to, to rest in his grave and had come back every day at noon to, to look for the pennies. So the parents gave the money to a poor man, man and after that the, the little child was never seen again. Now this fairy tale is a base for a lot of uh, Hollywood movies about ghosts and uh, their unfinished business in the world of the living. And that is for today. Next time I'm read, I will read the and practice reading English, the most beautiful language in the world, with the next fairy tale. So, see you next time.